Hey, my name is John Michael Swift, and this is a video introduction to the pluck and chuck guitar technique. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that every person out there watching this is thinking this of what is the pluck and chuck guitar technique. Well, the reason I bring it up is because I've seen a lot of players using this technique in the past couple years. Um, you know, I've seen Jason Mraz, John Mayer, Ani DeFranco, Jewel Kilcher. They all kind of are, a lot of people are throwing this technique into their songs, but there's not really a name for it. I don't see a lot of people teaching it, so. <clears throat> and I've seen this term pluck and shot kind of thrown around a little bit, so I thought I'd just go with it. But what I mean by that is, if you think of plucking as just being, well, just the regular kind of closing of your fingers like this, you think of chucking as being kind of like the opening of your fingers, so like... So basically what this is about is kind of combining this motion in your hand with this motion in your hand into different kinds of patterns so you can make your guitar sound kind of multi-textural. So I mean, just to give you a couple of real quick examples, there's like a country pattern that would sound. You know, you can do something like that. You can do something that's kind of jazz oriented as a kind of a boss rhythm. There I can kind of get the bass, the percussion a little bit, and then get kind of the accompanying part all at once. And you can do things that are just, you know, more popular sounding, but just give a nice full texture to them. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. And um, the basic idea is that this really kind of opens your playing up to being a lot more a lot more multi-dimensional, and it, it sounds much better when you're just accompanying yourself, I think. Um, so, so I guess why don't we just kind of get into it. Um, the, to really do this, there's four basic strokes you gotta get down. Um, and the two main ones are what I'm gonna call the chuck and the anti-chuck. So, I mean, the thing about, the thing about chucks are that it's not really like a strumming. It's sort of like a really controlled flick. And the reason it's controlled is because you have to kind of have your fingers wind up just like a half a centimeter past a certain string, which you're gonna then do what I call an anti-chuck on. And the reason I, anti-chuck's kind of a weird term. I used to call them upchucks, but like my students and my friends all made fun of me, so I kind of just decided to call it anti-chuck instead. But it's basically where you're kind of doing this opening motion and then this finger's kind of right past this string and it comes back on it like this, so it looks like. So it'd be like. You see, and to do that, this this can't just be like any old whacking strum. It has to be really kind of aimed at a particular string, kind of wind up just past it, and you know, be ready to kind of just bounce back right on it. So chucks and anti chucks. And the third type of stroke are you know, there's just regular plucking motions, just kind of like you do in any other finger style song that you would do. You know, those kind of plucks are in here too. And the fourth kind of motion that's really essential to this is a thumb slap. Now, um, this isn't necessary in every single pluck and chuck pattern, but it's a really useful device because it can kind of give you an imitation of a snare drum. So it goes kind of with the multi-textural feel of it. So to get that, you're kind of taking your thumb, kind of winding the hand up a little bit, and kind of slapping it into the string so that the string comes down and bounces on the frets. And in the context of the pattern, Backbeat. So that's a really useful thing to do in there. And to get that, you kind of have to get used to doing this chuck and the thumb slap at the same time, pretty typically. That's a pretty common thing to happen. So, so those are the basic strokes. I think now's a good time to just get into exercises that help you integrate this a little bit. So okay. now for some pluck and chuck exercises. All right, so the main thing you've got to get going are these four different types of strokes. You've got to get this chuck, this anti-chuck thing, anti-chuck. Um, the regular pluckings that you have to integrate and thumb slap all into one thing. So why don't we start with the chuck and the thumb slap. Coordinating those is kind of a big deal. So you don't have to worry so much about 
the the direction the length of the chuck right now you just kind of got to do it so if you can just kind of get used to planting your thumb on the low E string and just kind of opening your hand across the strings so you get a nice clear sound and it's a little bit of your fingers it's a little bit of your hand kind of like flattening out a little bit it doesn't it shouldn't be the arm it should really all be contained within the hand so you see not really any motion above my wrist. So, is that going on? And if the low, low E string has your thumb planted on it, the next step you want to do is try winding your hand up a little bit, giving that little. And once you kind of got a handle on those two things, the chuck with the thumb planted, and then the thumb coming in like that. Then you want to try to put them together. You kind of wind the hand up a little bit and you open and slap. Wind the hand up a little bit. Open and slap. Wind the hand up a little bit. Open and slap. Just a little bit of me lifting the arm sometimes to give it a little more, a little bit more strength on that. But for generally speaking, just the hand. So you can take that, mess with it a little bit. When you feel you got a handle on that, the big, the big money exercise for me is this thing I call the four stroke pattern. And I call it the four stroke pattern because it uses all four of these different strokes that we use in pluck and chuck in a nice little sequence. So let's take like, let's take like a C major chord. So we'll have our thumb on the C down here on the A string, and then everything else kind of planted up here. You have your pointer finger on the G string, your middle finger kind of centered on the B string, and your ring finger kind of centered on the E string. So you can kind of thumb, pointer, middle, ring. So the first stroke is the thumb pluck. Real simple. Stroke number one. Stroke number two is just a pluck with your pointer finger on the G string, the open G string. When you do this pluck, you're going to lift your hand a little bit. So, stroke one, stroke two, and you lift the hand just a little bit, just kind of close it in and wind it up for the chuck. So, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So, the third stroke is your chuck. So for now, I'm just kind of throw it out there to try to get it have a nice, clean, sharp sound. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you're integrating your thumb slap in, if you can get it, right back on the string where you started. Right there on the A string. fourth stroke is our anti-chuck, as it were. So to get this, you got to kind of aim your middle finger to be your main kind of chucking finger, and it goes kind of right past the high E string, just like half a centimeter, if that. So it'll be like two, three, and then this comes back and just gets a nice little clear ring on the high E string. One, two, trickiest thing about this you're probably going to find is getting that chuck to be just past that string because you don't want it to to like wind up on the you don't want it to like sit on the high E string like that and mute it you want everything to just kind of ring nicely and have it come back 
back. So it has to kind of hover right after the string when it chucks. So thanks everyone. That's our introduction to the pluck and chuck. Um, if you want to, you can check out a video lesson that I did on Follow You Into the Dark, which is uh, the first pluck and chuck song I ever learned. It's an awesome song. And uh, yeah, here's a, here's a video of my roommate and I doing some, doing some pieces that we wrote that use the pluck and chuck and it's good stuff. All right, thanks everyone. Peace. Thank you.